We're going to show you the ladder. And look right there. Hot Rod Fuller is back. He faces Corey McLennathan. J.R. Todd is back as well. Other side of the ladder, you got Morgan Lucas and Doug Coletta, two drivers with one win this season. Morgan having the lane choice. And right off the start here with Fuller and McLennathan on the line, the E3 upset alert, Mike. Gonna have to go with Hot Rod Fuller in his first race back after a little bit of a layoff after the end of last season. He's got a very good race car, but he's also got a very tough matchup here with Corey McClendon, your number eight and nine qualifier. So they ran pretty equal in qualifying. And now it's time for elimination. Uh, Fuller faltered a little at the start, but he comes off a 388 with a five, takes the whole shot, runs 310 miles an hour, and Hot Rod Fuller takes his first round win of the season. How about that Hot Rod? He's not rusty, is he? Hasn't been in the car since the end of last season. Gets right in, has a good reaction time, 300 of a second advantage over Corey McClendon. That's what he needed because Corey McClendon ran quicker. Remember, folks, the lanes are timed individually for elapsed time. The reaction time is when the driver left the starting line after the green light came on. So because of the fact that Hot Rod got 300 of an advantage off of the starting line, he was able to beat Corey McClendon. We go on board with Corey. Actually, had to work the wheel a little bit for a top field dragster. They don't usually work the wheel as much as the funny cars. If you take a look at our Lucas Oil photo finish cam, high rod Fuller gets the nod by just a little over a wheel. And how's that doing on your record with the E3 Park Plug up settler? <laughs> First one this year, Paul. Nice. Congratulations. Big grief. You know, guys, normally the number 16 versus number one matchup is kind of a no-brainer. But how many times is that number one qualifier in funny car? Points leader with four wins, Ron Caps, taking on the two-time world champion Tony Pedregon. Indeed, Tony has a unique opportunity today to not only help himself but help this class by trying to stop the runaway freight train. Ron Caps has become winless, though, since Brainerd last year and starting the year with two first-round losses. Tony and this team have recovered nicely with a couple runner-up finishes, and now with the top qualifying car, T-Ped could really make Funny Cars points race. No laughing matter late today. Gary Gerald? And at the top end, Hot Rod Fuller comes scrambling out, and it's so good to see him and J.R. Todd back in action. We hope it's on a regular basis. You talk about trying to Scrape off rust. A whole shot win. You got him by three hundreds on the tree. You run an 88 to beat his 86. How good does it feel to get back and be a winner? It feels good. It feels really good. One of the fans said I was like a, pit, a cooped up uh, pit bull that's been locked up in a kennel for a couple of months. So uh, they finally let me out and I got to do what I do. Uh, you know, got Pat and Cat on board and thanks Cat Corporate for letting me uh, go out there and support uh, the Caterpillar dealers. And man, I'm excited. Bob Vanner giving me this opportunity and all the fans not forgetting me. Welcome home. Uh, it's good to be home. Yeah, and in a car that's built especially hey guys, for him, out, smaller cockpit.